I can solve word problems involving equal groups, arrays, and measurement quantities using drawings and equations. So the first thing we're going to do is just solve some word problems. And then I'm going to kind of point out how each one is either using equal groups, arrays, um, and we're going to be using drawings and equations for every single one. That's kind of the point of this. We use drawings and equations, then we're going to do it in the three different ways. Groups, arrays, and then measurement quantities. So I have 15 balloons and want to give three to each child. How many children can I give three balloons to? So in this case, I'm looking for equal groups. How many children can I give three balloons to? Um, this relates back to division. So what we're doing is we're really doing 15 divided by 3. Now, to do that using an equation, it has to be 15 divided by 3 equals something. Well, we don't know the answer to start. So what I'm going to do is just put a triangle in there, a shape, an unknown. 15 divided by 3 equals triangle. And triangle will, at the end of this, tell me how many children can I give three balloons to. That will be triangle. So let's go ahead and now draw a picture, a drawing. 15 divided by 3. Let's see, we give 3 to each child. So 1, 2, 3, that's one child. 4, 5, 6, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now I've given away all 15 balloons. And I can count this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So triangle is going to equal 5, meaning that 5 children are each going to get 3 balloons. And that's looking at involving equal groups using drawings and equations. There are five children who will share some balloons equally. If each child gets three balloons, how many total balloons are there? In this case, I set up the equation in advance because I wanted to look at it with a division problem. It's n balloons, the total number that we don't know, divided by the five children is going to equal three. So each one will get three. I like to think of this one as more of an array, where I'm going to make five children, but each one is going to have three balloons. So we'll say each one of these is one balloon. Well, one, two, three, two, three, two, three. And now I have all the balloons that the kids will have in five rows, three in each row. And this is the total already drawn right here. So here's my picture. Here's n divided by five is three. Here's an equation I can use to solve it. I gotta figure out what n is. Well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So in this case, n equals 15 because I have five rows of 3 or 5 times 3. n is gonna equal 15 because 15 divided by 5 equals 3. It's all interchangeable here. How many total balloons are there? Well, there are 15 total balloons. And I've gone back and answered my question. And this is using an array as my drawing. The third part of our learning target involved measurement quantities. It's kind of tricky to define. It's best to kind of look at a few examples, and you'll get a better idea of what I mean when I say measurement quantities in that learning target. Lynn ran three miles. Sophie ran seven times as far as Lynn. How far did Sophie run? So when I say measurement quantities, what I mean is when you're looking at times as. We know that Lynn ran three miles and Sophie ran seven times as far. So you start out and you might look at like this, Lynn. Well, Lynn did three. All right. We're comparing the distance Lynn ran to the distance Sophie ran. So now let's look at Sophie. Sophie did seven times as far. Seven times as far. Well, that means that she did three, but she did it seven times. So she did it again. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she did seven threes, which you could just add them up. Plus, 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 plus. Or you could write a multiplication sentence because adding all those up is really multiplication. And that's where that times as kind of gives you that hint. You could do three times 7 is going to equal 
and we'll put a star there because we don't know yet. And there's our equation, 3 times 7 equals star. If we add all these up or we just work out an array or solve 3 times 7 using groups, we'll get that star equals 21. So we go back to the question. Um, how far did Sophie run? Well, Sophie ran 21 miles. Let's take a look at a little bit different problem involving measurement quantities. Lynn ran 21 miles this time. Lynn ran three times as far as Sophie. How far did Sophie run? So in this case, we know how far Lynn ran. We know that total. And we know that that's three times as far as Sophie. What we don't know is how far Sophie ran. Well, three times n, n being how far Sophie ran, so we don't know that, equals 21. Another way to look at this one would be you have Sophie. Sophie did n. All right. Well, Lynn did 21, and that's three times as far. So what I would do is I would write Lynn, and I know Lynn did N, but then she did N again, and N again, so three times. And I have 21 miles total, so I can kind of split them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I have these three equal sections. Each one of these equals n. And that means that Lynn ran three times as far. So each one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because 3 times 7 would equal 21. So n is going to equal 7. When I go back to the question, how far did Sophie run? Well, Sophie ran 7 miles. You could almost look at it as though I solved this one really by doing 21 divided by 3 equals n. Because I took the 21 and I split it into 3 equal groups. So just a little side that I really kind of did this in trying to figure out 3 times what is going to equal 21. I can solve word problems involving equal groups, arrays, and measurement quantities using drawings and equations. I went ahead and did one just with measurement quantities for our sample problem for you to practice on. Molly has five baseball cards. Billy has twice as many. How many baseball cards does Billy have? What I want you to do is to write an equation with an unknown, like a triangle, square, the letter N, whatever you would choose, and then draw a picture as well. Your, your measurement quantity here is twice as many. Um, twice, just so you know, means two. So twice as many, so like two times as many as Molly. So write out an equation, try to figure out the unknown, which is how many baseball cards does Billy 